Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef, my name's Ross and in this video we'll take a look at the plumbing for the Waterbox Marine X 60.2 Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, like I said there, my name's Ross, this is Bearded Reef and this is my Waterbox Marine X 60.2 So if you've seen my previous video, you've seen when we've got it set up um, we got, you know, all the aquascape and so on in it and things going, so yeah, um, a bit of a slow process with that one but we've got there in the end. So, as you see behind me, the water's now in and the sand's in. So I'll quickly show you a little clip of that, um, just madding the water and, you know, the sand and so on. I'll let you have a look around the tank first, then we'll go into the plumbing of the Marine X 60.2 and I'll show you that. Because some people have asked some questions on it, so I thought I would just do a quick video of that one showing you the plumbing. Might not be the most exciting thing, but if it helps somebody, then we'll go with it. So yeah, we'll dive in, I'll quickly show you just um, a little clip of the tank filling up. Now what I've done was I just made um, fresh RO water. So I had actually run the RO unit, now I've got the Aquati RO unit. Um, so if you want 10% off you can use the code BEARDEDREEF10 at Aquati and you'll get 10% off units there. Now these are fantastic units, I've used these since the start basically. And they're great, now Aquati has been a good sponsor of the channel so a massive thank you to them. But yeah, I've got the 300 gallon per day 5 stage RODI unit so I just left that running kept filling up 25 litre drums every time and yeah I would set a timer for roughly 50 minutes which is how long it takes go out change it over and do it that way so every 50 minutes or so I was just adding in another 25 litres of water to this so basically what I'd done was I added in the rockwork first so the aquascape and everything was in the tank first then I added the water which was just the RO water then I mixed in the salt after that so I actually mixed the salt in the tank let it settle for a few days um, got it up to the salinity I wanted then I know you shouldn't do it, but I didn't want to add in the live sand that I had because um, it was the Carib Sea Arag Alive um, Fiji Pink Sand that I've used in this. I didn't want to add that in with just RO water. Um, I wasn't sure what I'd do with the bacteria or so on, so I waited till the RO water was in, um, mixed the salt water in the tank, and then I added in the salt after uh, the sand afterwards. Sorry, so made of a bit of a mess. You see behind me, the tank is still a bit cloudy. That's been about two or three days now, so. The tank is still a bit cloudy, it will clear up over time, but yeah, that's it. So, water's in, salt's in, and the sand's in. Now, I think it looks pretty good. I'll give you a quick little tour around that just to show you what the tank looks like just now. Okay, so this is the aquascape. Now the water's cleared up a little bit, it's still a bit cloudy, but this is it. And now the sand's in as well, so I'll just give you a little look at this. Now obviously I've turned up the whites for this just to make it a bit better for the video but this is the yeah, escape here and now the sand's in I think it looks really good actually to be honest with you really really happy with this hopefully you guys quite like it too but yeah I think it looks um, looks pretty good it's kind of what I had in my head that I wanted and um, I'll show you it from around this other side here Plenty of space for different coral placement and should look pretty good when it's filled out I think, so yeah. That is it. Yeah, that in theory is um, where we're at with the tank. So, I mean next step moving forward I'm going to be doing the cycle on the tank. Now I know if you watched previous videos on the Peninsula Mini you'll know that I had done the cycle using um, Dr. Tim's. This time I'm going to do it using ATM Colony. So ATM Colony is what I've chose to use this time. Never used this before so we'll see what this is like and we'll go with it but yeah that's what I've chose to do. I'm going to make a couple more changes to the tank, things that I said I was using I'm not going to use anymore and I've made a couple more changes as well so we'll go over them in a future video but yeah. So I'll cut to the chase now, we'll show you guys the plumbing, how I'm going to set the plumbing up and so on um, and well obviously I've already done the plumbing but I'm going to show you the previous clip from that of how you set it up. But yeah hopefully that will help any of you guys if you're struggling with the plumbing but yeah that's um, that's really how the tank looks to be honest with you. So yeah we'll dive into the, the plumbing now and um, I'll let you guys see exactly how I've done it. Okay, so let's take a look at the plumbing. So this is all the plumbing that comes with the uh, Marine X 60.2. does look a bit daunting if you don't really know much about it. I didn't know much about it, so I wasn't really sure what way it went. So I'll give you a quick run through of how everything goes together, how I put it together and what it is. So 
first of all kind of obvious but you've got your rubber return hose here so stick that to the side just now um, I suppose probably the easiest thing to do is if I start I might, I might actually just show you exactly how it lays out so if you just let me move everything here I'll show you how it should all go together apologies this is a horrible noise but anyway so if we start from the top so right at the very top you're going to have that piece there now on each end of that you're going to have your return nozzles they come out each side of there so that is basically your very very top piece so then you're going to have three pieces below that you're going to have your return that actually feeds that piece you're going to have your drain and you're going to have your emergency drain so really really easy to identify this right here obviously is your drain so that's going to be your main drain now this is where it gets slightly more difficult because at this point you've got three of these pieces here now if you look if that doesn't roll out of the way I'll just move it back anyway but if you look two of these have got a female end on the bottom one of them has a male so this is what sits down actually on the base of your tank here now from this you have your male piece your two females now if I hold them at the same length I appreciate the camera's a bit off but you see there's three different lengths here right so you've got your one in the middle which is obviously way longer than the other ones that doesn't actually go on the top that goes on the sump side so move your longest one out of the way we'll put that in the sump now on the top here leaves you one male and one female now these when you put these together at the bottom now bear in mind you're putting them together on the flange not the thread so when you put them together there should be a slight difference there what that slight difference allows you to do the one that doesn't have the thread on the bottom so the female version of that that goes right here into this one let me just double check that, yeah so the female you just basically take that shove it in there make sure it's tight so that's your first bit there okay which then allows you to have your emergency drain which will sit like that and it almost touches the top one but it doesn't quite if you can see that there so that's going to sit just below there if I can stop it from rolling away then obviously in the middle is your return so if I can just move the camera a little bit to show you that's what the bottom so this is obviously in the main display in the top of the tank this is what you should have here so T-bar at the top return nozzle return nozzle this is your main supply feeding to the tank your drain and your emergency drain so that's how it looks obviously this will be the glass here of the tank and then down here will be the sump so that is your top side there so that's really quite simple now down below that what you have now if I move this out the way now just remember the way that that was there so you have your return here for the actual drain you have your feed which is from your pump and then you have your emergency overflow there okay so you do have this little piece here so if you look down the bottom you'll see that one of them is slightly longer than the other one so like I say this one here is your emergency drain this one in the middle is your main drain so if that makes too much noise you can actually take this piece here and just connect that onto there and that just sits it lower down in the sump so that's all your middle piece is comes with your valve and so on on there and then that piece at the bottom so that's that one that's your emergency drain and this is your return for your actual rubber hose there so your rubber hose I'll go onto that like so and that's virtually your setup there so if I just move things down a bit so they're all equal that's what you'll have on the sump side of the glass so really really easy that's exactly your pieces together now what I want to do is just show you how to make these up so it is very very simple but one thing you want to bear in mind so I'll shift these out of the way and we'll go step by step and show you what bits what okay so this is the actual plumbing kit that comes with it now in here you'll see there's two of the kind of threaded adapters and some o-rings as well so what you want to make sure with this and this is critical or your tank will leak basically these o-rings here 
Now, if you look on the bottom of your pieces that come from the main display, so this is the actual drain bit here, there's a little recess inside here if you look. So basically that little o-ring there fits inside that recess like so. Now what I always do when I put an o-ring on anything is get some silicon grease and just wrap some silicon grease around the actual o-ring. Just put a little drop around the o-ring just to keep it nice and lubricated shall we say. So yeah make sure that those o-rings are in every one of the um, female pieces. Now on the male pieces so there's one that comes in from the top if you remember. It's just got the thread like this. So what you want to do is take a little gasket like that and put that on there. Now it should just shove all the way down to the bottom. Once you shove it down to the bottom that's fine. Now again I just put a little bit of silicon grease around there again. So when that goes on the glass it's fine. Now on the underside of this what you have is these here. So yet again make sure there's an o-ring in the bottom side that there. Now that goes up against the glass and then what that allows you to do is, like see your valve section here, basically take that, set that on there and then you can tighten that up to it. So that will tighten up quite the thing. And then just remember this is where your glass is up here, so that's going to be underneath in the sump and that's it. So yeah, as long as you remember to do that, put some sealant on it, I would also, on this um, feed nozzle here, I would just check because mine's when it came, these little plugs here aren't actually tight so you need to tighten it up so that little o-ring seals but yeah, that's that's literally it for the plumbing, um, nothing difficult it does come with an ANSI and DIN fitting if you want to use hard piping instead of the, the actual piping that comes with it so you can use them, cement them on and use the different hard piping if you want but yeah, that's really it for this to be honest with you um, very simple, and I'll jump back upstairs and I'll show you on the tank so we can explain it a bit better Okay, so down in the sump, what we have, you've got the middle piece there, so if you look up the top, I'll show you that here, you can see on the right hand side that's your return, um, so like I say that's coming from the pump in here, up to the tank, and that's in the bottom. Then you have your valve going down, like I say I've fitted the extension piece into there, so it's in the water to make a noise, and the left hand side is your emergency overflow drain. That's really as simple as that is, there's nothing really crazy to it. Then, on the top here, probably won't be able to see it very well, but on the left hand side there you can see the return nozzle on that side. And one on this side too. So that is the return nozzles. Um, I've got this cover on here to try and hide it all a little bit, but there you go. Not much to see inside there, but that's what it is. So yeah. That, folks, is the plumbing on the Marine X 60.2. Okay, so that's the plumbing for the Marine X 60.2. Like I said, it's nothing difficult, it's actually really straightforward. Everything's already pre cemented, pre glued, you don't need to do any of that. It's literally just, you know, the screw on connectors and that's it done. Bulkhead fittings, remember to put the silicon grease in, and yeah, that's, that's really it, to be honest with you, folks. It's not difficult at all. Um, can be a bit awkward, luckily, I've got really long arms, so I could reach in the back and my hand under the sump and do it at the same time. It's a bit easier if you get somebody to give you a hand, but if you don't have that, you do have long arms, then you're lucky. So yeah, that's the plumbing. As you'll see, the tank's all up and running, everything's looking okay. Um, we'll get the cycle going, we'll get things sorted, and we'll start adding more equipment to it. All I have just now is the little filter floss cup from Aquaprint in there with some filter floss, the return pump, and that is it. I'm just letting it cycle around. Sorry, the heater's in there as well. I'm um, just letting it cycle around with the heater on, so it's at temperature and so on. So yeah, that's... Um, that's really it for this video folks, nothing nothing major, um, just a quite a short one this week but I just really wanted to get that out there, show you the tank with the water in it and the sand in it and to show you what the plumbing's like, so yeah, that's us for this video. So once again, um, a massive thank you to all you guys for all your support, if you don't already, go ahead over and check out my Instagram page which is at bearded.reef, hopefully you guys will enjoy some of the content on there, I do post pictures almost every day on there, um, and if you haven't already, if you please could hit the subscribe button down below, that means a massive amount to me. Um, leave any comments you've got on the video, anything that you like, disagree, agree, any questions or anything you've got, leave them down below. I'll reply to all the comments, so have a look at them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching folks, hope your tanks are all doing well, hope you're all staying safe out there. Take care, bye bye.